Today I have a very different video. Today I left my house at 4.30 in the morning because we're on the way to Canada. And right now we stop here at Chattanooga, Tennessee at the shop of our friend G, which owns uh, Test Bros. And the reason why we're here is because 10 minutes into the drive, I lost FSD, autopilot, uh, cruise control. I don't have any of the driver assistance, not even uh, protection from leaving the lane. And the reason for it is because the pitch angle on the front facing cameras is misaligned. So I look at the service manual. I think I figured out how to do this. So I'm going to do it myself. The reason why I'm going to do it myself is because I'm on a road trip. At least I think I know how to do it. So let me show you. I pretty much kind of set it up already. Um, I am having this issue where, let's see if I can show you the message. I have the alerts, here we go. Okay, so here on the screen, I have on the alerts, if you read that, there's a problem with the forward camera pitch. And to confirm that, you have to put this marking that has to sit at exactly 165 centimeters from the ground. You can do this with tape, we can do it with whatever. You have to put a flat surface in front of the vehicle kind of centered so that the cameras can look at it. And then what you do is that you come here to the service menu, you go to the driver assist section, cameras, and then you can see the main pitch here, the angles that it has. And there's a thing here called camera preview. When you click on that and you hit the pitch verification, you are going to see what's in front of the car through the camera. And that red marking that I did that is at the correct height should sit right between the green horizontal lines. And it's completely below. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna open the enclosure that's there above the rear view mirror monitor. We're gonna open that up and we're gonna use a tool to rotate the pitch angle on the camera so that we can line this up. All right, so let's do that now. First thing that I need to do is I'm going to disconnect power to the rear view mirror monitor that I have here. I'm doing that now. So now it's disconnected, there's nothing to it. Uh, and of course I have to remove it because if I don't remove it, I can't access the calibration area. So it's just one screw that holds this, it's a T20. So I am doing that right now. And so the monitor is off. Now I have to remove this thing. I can use a pry tool, but I can just pop it out. Once we remove the cover, we get access to the knob that needs to be turned to change the pitch angle and move the red mark between the two green lines. I followed the steps of the very detailed Cybertruck online service manual, so if you need to do this work yourself, I am leaving the link down below. We were able to align the pitch angle of the front facing cameras, and we have to calibrate the, the cameras again. So it took about, I don't know, I want to say like five minutes of driving manually. Uh, the cameras were able to like know where everything is, and now we're back to FSD working. So I'm gonna, I'm hoping that this short guide helps you a little bit. So for example, if you encounter any issues with that, uh, you don't have to just go to Tesla, you can do it yourself. The cameras are calibrated now and I have FSD again. So that's all I have for this one.